That's awesome. Hey guys, it's Mike at Narcoleptic Customs. Tonight we're working on Stanley's LS Turbo stuff. Um, the do-it-yourself log manifold, all that shit. So basically, if you haven't seen part one and two, we built this in part one, uh, welded it all up in part two. Part three, we got this part, or this, that one done. Uh, now for part four, we're working on the crossover tube here. Okay, I have to wedge that in a little better. So we're gonna use the bandsaw over there to work on mounting everything up. So we have our uh, flex piece here that has the little sliders inside, right? So it, the bellow, I guess what you call it. So it slides in like so. Okay, so it's nice and tight, okay? So what I'm planning to do is I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a big section here, slide over here, come down, cut it off, so I can weld the V-band onto here, and then we can make the merge down to the pipe here. I'll use the other side to slide into the V-band on the other side that we welded. Uh, it'll make the 90 down and uh, we'll just join the bellows there. So it all should work out. Just gonna take some cutting and trimming and all that kind of stuff. So my goal for right now is to get that to where it fits in a little better so it's not quite as uh, wedged in there. So, and basically move it in as close as I can that way to where we can weld it and it, uh, and it still fit. But I still have to cut off this end right here. Okay guys, this pipe here is trimmed enough at the top to fit in comfortably there. So I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna cut it about right here where it really gets flat so I can um, use this piece here because I think it is just about the right length to go from here down to where I need the V-band, so. And then the pan I have is obviously uh, about three and a half inches shorter than a truck pan. So it'll actually be way up here. So it'll be nothing to interfere with the piping or anything down here. And it'll be protected almost all by the cross member. Holy crap. Look at how almost perfect <laughs> I cut that. So, and then we'll just run a short pipe from here to here. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Man, this is gonna be so cool. The perfect spot is the V-band should be right above where the frame is. So they'll be easy to get to with the flex on there. It'll be super easy to mount and move around. So now it's time to, uh, to get these welded up. Okay, to help make sure that these two pipes line up, I'm going to cut, uh, I measured from in here to inside this piece. Oh shit, it's dark over can't see my hands. To inside here. I'm gonna cut that piece now. That way I can at least put that in there, make sure my distance is right before I weld up the bottom here. My apologies for the fan, but it is so sweaty. So slid our cut piece in here, go away the bottom, all the way to the bottom of the flex. And when I go to put it in here, I've got to pull on it too much to get in there. So I'm going to cut off another, I don't know, half inch on this piece maybe and, uh, and give us the space we need, hopefully. Cut a little more than I probably should have off, but it'll give us room to, to mess with. that looks It's 
about 80% welded and uh, it's in there and ready to go. I just, I want to pull it out to finish weld it, but I want to let it cool first so it doesn't like warp or anything like that. So. That's it for this one. Subscribe to the channel to keep up for more turbo stuff, plus all the other stuff we have going on in the shop. Thanks. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at this thing.